What is up guys Narendra here today I will be talking about text effects in Adobe Photoshop CC. Before moving forward I request you guys to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Let's get started guys. First type tool I'm going to mention here is horizontal type tool. Shortcut is T on Mac and Windows. After selecting type tool there are two ways to add text on the canvas. So I'm taking your uh, canvas now. I'm opening a new document here. So this is a canvas. So as I mentioned there are two ways. So first way is click and type on the canvas. So I'm, I'm just clicking on the canvas and there you can see the cursor is started and I can I'm able to type text here now and it's moving out of the canvas so the second option is click and drag to create boundary for text on the canvas I'm clicking and dragging on the canvas so this is a boundary guys for the text so now you, as you can see there is a cursor inside the boundary so now when I type the text it doesn't go out of the boundary and you can increase you can edit the boundary if you want it doesn't distort the size of the text it only takes it only takes the area of the text so when the text is overflowing in this boundary you can see here that it's gonna there's gonna be a plus indicate indicator saying that text is overflowing in this box so now I'll delete few letters here if I add one more you can see here this part of the area there's a plus indicator mentioning saying that the text is overflowing this boundary so this is horizontal type tool guys so the first option is used mostly for the smaller amount of the text because if you add more more text it's gonna go out of the boundary and every time when it goes out of the boundary you need to press enter so this is gonna be a headache and it's gonna take a lot of time where you work for immediate output the second option is used for paragraph writing and copying and pasting the content in the required area where we are providing this boundary if we copy a text from outside outside source like Google like PDF or something if you just copy on, uh, in this boundary it's gonna maintain in this boundary itself you don't need to press enter you don't need to waste time there the sec so let's move on to the second type tool so it's called vertical type tool so this is a vertical type tool I'm deleting the previous things so vertical type tool is same as horizontal type tool but when you type it's gonna make it's gonna show in vertical orientation so this also has a two ways to click and write you can add text this way so this is a vertical type tool guys moving on to third type tool it's called vertical type mask tool this type tool has lot of benefits to work on guys let me select so it works as the same as another type tools but instead of creating a text it creates a selection area of the text so now as you can see now there is only text here you can add whatever you want whatever the text you need and now you can see there is a selector selection area around the each letter so to show this tool I'm gonna take some uh, reference 
as uh, image reference so before moving on editing please make sure every time you remove this lock so now i'm selecting vertical horizontal anything you have two types in type tools you have vertical and horizontal now i'm selecting horizontal to show you as an uh, reference so when you start selecting in that area you can see this selection it turns to red the whole canvas and if you want to move you can move the tool you can see here if i overlapping it i can see a cursor otherwise i can see a move tool here so that you can move where you need to type the text so after typing the text and you can't move the type tool anywhere so before typing the text make sure you move the tool where you want so i'm placing it here somewhere here and i want so i'm going to explain about character and paragraphs in another video guys so here I'm just mentioning how we are going to use a type tool in different situations. So now I'm done with the text and I want a placement where I want to place this. So after placing, after, after typing, don't press enter or anything, just try to place wherever you want and after that you can go for enter so i am done with placing here and you can press escape and you can see here select area of each letter on the canvas now i am taking another layer i am duplicating first i never edit on the original layer guys so when you see when I, while I was duplicating it to duplicate control J on Windows and command J on Mac so it gives you ability to duplicate the layer and you can hide the original layer if you don't if you don't want as you can see now it took the image inside the letter so this is a mask tool guys so it creates a, selector, a selection area of each letter that gives the ability to take the area inside the selection and out, outer part it's going to delete so this is a mask tool guys you can use it in different different ways it depends on your creativity so I'm going to mention another type tool fifth type tool called path type tool which is not mentioned in this software I'm going to empty canvas here so before starting on type tool to use this we need to create a path and select and type so I'm selecting a pen tool and I'm creating a path as you can see there is a path here and I'm selecting any type you can you can select anyone I'm going for horizontal as you overlap the path you can see the icon is going to change as you can see here there is a path on the cursor so I'll you can uh, you can choose the area where you want to select I'm selecting from here I want to start I choose the font size So I, s I had mentioned text here but you as you can see it had stopped till here only so you can you can drag this out by using anchor point selection you can move it up down on the path so you can edit however you want based on the path you had selected so these are the five type tools are used for daily work. 
I'll be sharing another video on how to rasterize a text layer to add effects or to edit it. Thank you guys for watching. I request you to subscribe, like and leave comment below. It helps me to understand what you need and I can create videos to help you to learn. So see you in the next video.